Hi, it's Karen Turner. I'm going to show you a useful little shortcut today you might put onto a macro. So first of all, I've got this small amount of data here that I was going to demonstrate with where the widths need to be changed, but I'm going to show you how to copy the sheet over so that we've got a few practice examples as well. So if I hold down control and drag, you'll see a little plus on the piece of paper there. I'll just drop it right next to that. And now that's a second copy of sheet one. I'll do the same trick again. Just have a couple of spares there so I can demonstrate to you guys. So they all look the same. Practice is the key with macros. Think about what you want to do and then do it for real. If you go into the view ribbon, you've got macros here. Basically you click for record macros. You can right click here and add this button to your quick access toolbar if you're going to use it a lot. Might be useful for me today to do that. So it's now up here. It says to be going to the view ribbon at all to start recording. Let's give the macro a name, format, spreadsheet. I don't leave a gap between names in a macro. You could put a shortcut key in here by clicking into this box here and choosing a letter that hasn't already been used as a shortcut key. Good practice is to write a description of your macro. Uh, so I've just said format, column, widths and styles. So as you can see, I've now filled in the record macro book. Say OK and it's ready to begin. The first thing that I want to do is on the home ribbon put the styles drop down in and put heading one for the first line and heading two could be for my second line and I will right click on the row number to insert a row just there. Also quite nice little touch to put in some column heading formatting right now. Let's try out our shortcut key now. So it's Control A A Alt H O I and Enter. Lovely. That's worked perfectly. My macro can now stop. So I need to go into View Macros and Stop Recording. So if I just click away, you can see that the small spreadsheet looks very nice. And if that's the way I wanted all my spreadsheets to be, then I could go ahead and run that macro. Now I'm going to show you how you could put that macro up on your quick access toolbar as a button. So if you use the more button here and drop down the list, go to more commands and choose commands from macros. And we should see a format columns macro. So we add it to the quick access toolbar and say, OK, if we want to, we can put a different picture onto the one that's on there by just using modify and choose picture which sums it up for us. So I will use the little happy face there, I think, probably, to do my macro and say OK. And you can now see you've got a little button there. And when I push that, it runs the macro. Much quicker than all those changes being made every time I open up a spreadsheet to make it look consistent. Thanks very much for listening. Bye bye for now.